Yo, this is Kieran and in this video we're talking about female double standards that can and often do come about in relationships and what you as a man need to know. In order to give context, I'm looking at Sex Life, the hit show on Netflix. Now, Sex Life, for those of you who don't know, is a show about a woman named Billy and she's married to a man named Cooper. They have a fantastic marriage, but Billy can't stop thinking about her ex Brad. She fantasizes about the mind-blowing sex her and Brad had all the freaking time. And throughout the course of the show, her fantasizing about her ex destroys her marriage to Cooper. Or at least it almost does as the show goes on. Now, midway through the season, Billy and Cooper, in an attempt to revitalize their marriage, actually go to a sex party. They go to a sex party and things get a little bit frisky and there's a moment when it's like they could potentially have sex in front of strangers. Billy completely categorically refuses to do this. She doesn't want to do it at all. Cooper says to her, why? You would do it if it was Brad. If Brad brought you here, you would have sex with Brad. And she goes, yes, but that's not who I want us to be. That's not who I want us to be. Now, this is the double standard right here. Throughout the entire show, Billy is miserable with her sex life. She doesn't like the sex life she has with Cooper. It's not enough for her. She wants the sex life that she had with Brad. Now, Cooper is prepared to give her the sex life that she had with Brad, but she refuses to let Cooper do that. So even though Cooper's actually prepared to give her what she wants, she would rather have the relationship fall apart than do something with Cooper that she doesn't feel like Cooper is the right man to do that with. Now, what's going on here? This is what's going on. Billy has categorized Cooper in her mind, just like she's categorized Brad. This is actually something that a lot, well, pretty much all women do. They categorize men and place men into boxes. Billy has categorized Cooper as the stable, loving, dependable relationship man. That's what she's got him categorized as. And because he's in that category, she won't allow him to leave the category in her mind. In her mind, she has Brad placed in the hot, sweaty, kinky, steamy category. And she will allow Brad to do things that she won't allow Cooper to do, even though she's married to Cooper and even though she needs to be happy in a relationship with Cooper. This is not like a one-off thing. This is actually quite common. For instance, I was reading on Reddit once where this man was talking about the fact that he was begging his wife to perform various sexual acts and she always said no, 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 no. And she even got disgusted with the idea. Then one day he found videos that she had taken at college and guess what? She was doing all of those things and more. The very things that she refused to do with him, she was doing with other guys at college. And naturally this guy was hurt. As a man, something that we need to know is that when we meet women, they take cues from us on what relationship we are going to have moving forward. And once they have taken those cues, that is it. That is the relationship. When Cooper was going on his dates with Billy, he was acting like the stable, loving, dependable Disney Channel husband. And the more he did that, the more he crystallized himself as that in her mind. So that when he then tried to do something that was different to that, she then refused to do it. This is a huge part of why guys get friends on, by the way. A huge part, a massive part of why, about why men get friends on is simply that we act like friends. And then after a while, the woman says, well, he's just a friend. This is something that we need to know. So what does this mean for all of us all watching? When you meet a girl, you need whatever it is that you want her to know about you. Whatever that is, whatever vibe it is that you want to have with her, you have to put that across from the get go. If you're the kind of guy who wants to have threesomes and stuff like that, and you're acting like you're not, and you're acting like a regular, let's call it monogamous husband, the threesomes won't ever come. What you need to do is immediately let this woman know exactly who you are. 
If on their first, second and third dates, Cooper was talking about going to sex parties, she would be totally fine and comfortable with going to sex parties with him, but he didn't do that. He went down the route of a normal, regular relationship, then shocked her, scared her, blindsided her with sex parties midway through, and now she doesn't actually want to do it. You have to be comfortable saying who you are. This is an issue that many men fall into, especially many of the guys that I coach, which is that we have expectations of what we think women will and will not take, like what they won't tolerate, what they won't stand for, what they won't like, etc. And then we play into that rather than just openly saying who the hell we actually are. That's something that you need to do. You need to say who the heck you actually are and also be prepared to walk away if the woman in particular doesn't like what you've got to say. If you bring up the concept of threesomes and sex parties and she hates that idea, you need to be prepared to stand up, turn around and just leave. Not with anger, not with malice, not with aggression, but okay, this situation isn't working for me. This is what I want. You do you, I will do me. There are plenty of women who are into that sort of thing. Fine, no problem, see you later. That is the kind of energy that you need to have. When you be what you think she wants you to be and you betray your true desires and your true wants as a result, you then set up a scenario in which by the time you actually start voicing those desires, she is so used to knowing you as being the false you that she doesn't want to accept the real you. And that is it for today's video. If you like the cut of our jib, then you should join Game Global on Facebook. We have an active community of men from all around the world who are doing what they can to become the best damn versions of themselves. Thank you very much. Take care. Au revoir. And you know what? You should actually watch Sex Life on Netflix because it is actually brilliant.